Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum and I'm out here at the monthly backup gun match, which I'm using as a bit of a test bed for some interesting pistols that I don't have a lot of ammunition for because we have four stages to this match, uh, but they use only one magazine worth of ammunition each. So today I have a Colt model of 1908. This is a 38 caliber semi-auto pistol. This particular example is super cool because in 1925, this was one of the first batch that was delivered to uh, William Fairburn, who was at the time assistant commissioner, I think at that time assistant commissioner, he was working for the Shanghai Municipal Police Department. And they purchased 38 caliber Colts for the Chinese officers of the Shanghai police with a couple of modifications. Uh, Fairburn had spent a lot of time studying self-defense, both unarmed and armed. And he came up with a couple modifications he liked to these pistols. There's a little spring added to the side of the slide to put pressure on the barrel, which allegedly reduces malfunctions. I don't know that this gun had that many malfunctions to begin with, but okay. There's a lanyard loop on it, just for adding a lanyard. And then most substantially, he actually deactivated the manual safeties. There's a little screw in here, so you can't engage the manual safety. You only have the grip safety. So, I'm going to be doing some shooting with this, and I'm going to try, if the targets are close enough today, I'm going to try doing some of what Fairburn talked about with more instinctive shooting than aimed shooting. So uh, what he wrote about was only firing from the hip in a like bad breath distance if you have to fire immediately upon drawing the pistol. Um, some opportunity for firing from a low ready position like this. The idea was to always have the, the pistol center line of your body, so you could use your body as an index. But he also talked about aiming the pistol, uh, or having the pistol at eye height, but not looking at the sights, instead focusing on your target. And the, the premise being that accuracy, pinpoint accuracy, is less important in an immediate gunfight than speed and aggression. So shooting faster and getting an okay hit is far preferable to taking your time and getting shot yourself before you have the chance to make a perfect bullseye. Anyway, uh, we got four stages today, so let's get into it. All right, so on this one we've got stairs. Start on the stairs, swap your gun for the real gun on the barrel. You shoot a downstairs target, then the upstairs target, then the other downstairs target. Shooter's ready. Stand by. So I did pretty good on these. Eight. <laughs> I dropped one point on that guy. You're saying eight. Six. 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 <laughs> so one. Down one, one, eight seconds. Eight seconds, one point one, missed. Right? That's not too bad. All right, the setup here is that you're in a vehicle, your gun has fallen out of its holster, and you have to get it with your feet, then turn around and engage the two paper targets and the plate with your own gun from the barrel. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Range is clear. Six seconds. Ooh. I heard two hits on that. I got yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. All right, so that's a clean one. Yep. Look at that's that a clean up. one. And six. 20 points. 380 couldn't quite knock this down, so I get six out of seven for two hits. On this stage, your gun mysteriously begins in a chili pot. You retrieve it from there, engage the two paper targets from over the tables, and then you have to go under the table to shoot the two falling steel. Guns on table. Are you good to go? Yep. There's a good Shooter's ready. The whole, the Stand by. Almost the medium. I remember that. And they, uh... Yeah, that's done. Five seconds. Called Operation Not Range is clear. Five seconds. All right, so I did that very fast, but not very accurate. Four. Only three points here. Four and three, so seven, you got 21 points, I believe. So on the other guy, I had, uh, what do we have? We had a three and a one. So, yeah, so two not very good shots. I was deliberately trying 
faster, unaimed shooting. Just yeah, put the were, gun out in the right way, in the right direction. Bam, 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 bam. You were, you were pulling the trigger as you came across. Yeah. <laughs> right there, so, uh, it's always what? a balance, speed and shooting. So after watching a bad video, a week later you're sitting back watching TV and a creepy undead girl comes up out of a well and through your TV to eat your soul. So, from the chair, starting with your gun in hand, you have to engage the four targets from back to front. Yep. Shooter's ready. Stand by. That was about 20 That's pretty good. Four, four seconds. Four seconds. Wow. 4.56. Longer than that. Oh, yeah. Hell of a game. And. Nicely done. Boop. Full <laughs> score. Nice. So. This thing is awesome. I really like this Colt. Uh, even being almost 100 years old now, I honestly, I would have a hard time dissuading someone who said they wanted to carry one of these things. I think the grip is great. It's got a fantastic single action trigger because that's how it's built. Um, using the grip safety instead of the manual safety, just fine, I think. Um, and boy, Fairburn really knew his stuff. Uh, not really surprising. If you look at what he did after he was involved with the Shanghai police, um, one of the most dangerous cities in the world in the 20s and 30s when he was there as commissioner, assistant commissioner, uh, he went on in World War II to be one of the main trainers for the OSS and SOE, uh, special operations guys for the British and the Americans. Um, partnered up with a guy named, uh, I believe, Earl Sykes. Um, anyway, you may have you may have heard those names, the, the Fairbairn Sykes commando dagger, which they designed for special operations troops in World War II. Uh, guy knew his stuff. This is old school pistol craft, and I think he made a fantastic choice. This was a pleasure to shoot, and we'll have to see exactly how the scores turn out, but I think I beat most of the people here using a 1925 380 Colt. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This was a lot of fun to do. Let me know if you like this sort of format and this st style of competition using some kind of funky guns that I don't have a lot of mags or ammo for. Um, anyway, we'll be back tomorrow with another Forgotten Weapon. Thanks for watching.